Welcome back to the New Mexico Rancher. So we are working on a fence today. So we've got, <clears throat> we started on a couple days ago, but we got a fence that starts in the corner down there. And we got wooden posts that go all the way up there. It's about a quarter mile or so. And what we need to do is take all of the wooden posts out and then take the T posts out that are facing the wrong direction. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, and then there's some field fence, which is basically a uh, square fence that they use for horses and whatnot. We got to take that out. And the reason we're doing this is because there's multiple fences here from over the years. There's original wood fence, then they put in the T the posts, and then they put in the field fence. And it's just created a mess. And we're going to run cattle in here this year. And so we need a much better fence here uh, than what we've got so we're going to work on we're going to work on that today so the first task is we had to go and remove all the staples from the wooden posts and then we will come through with the tractor and the chain and we're going to pop all of these posts out uh, and then like i said we'll flip the t posts around so we got all the notches facing the field since it's where all the pressure is we talked about that last time uh, we worked on some fence and then we got some railroad ties that we got to take out on the H braces, which is basically two posts coming up and a, a pipe in the middle. And those need to come out too. We use those to stretch the long fences, uh, long wires on. So those will come out, we'll put new, uh, new pipe in there. So we're gonna go get started and it's wet. See, Chelsea's just looking the wires off, cutting it, taking it off the post. That one's cheating. We're supposed to pull them out with the chain. <laughs> These are much better pliers for doing that. Watch how fast she just cuts it. Put the pressure on her. <laughs> Look at that efficiency we built in. There's a nail down there. <laughs> These posts are old juniper posts. <laughs> and where we're at right now, we can't see it, but to the west of us is a forest and back in the day i'm sure that whoever had this went back and cut by hand all of these posts possibly with an axe came in put posts down new mexico is a fence out state which means if you want the critters out of your property you are responsible for maintaining the fence Different laws on that. Yep. Technically, we don't need to worry about this fence. Good fences make good neighbors. Because it's a fence out state, but like Chelsea said, good fences make good neighbors. I don't want to find 100 calves sitting in their wheat field or their pumpkin. All these right here in front of us are pumpkins. And I really don't need to find all my calves in it, even though it's not my responsibility to keep them out. Uh, I don't even want to have those kind of conversations with my neighbors. I want to have a good fence, keep my calves in.
Well, after a lot of work today, we successfully removed the first half of the fence. Here's some T-posts. Here's some buildup. Corner post used to be right there. We took it down the whole way. All the wooden posts, T-posts, field fence, all of it. So now what we're left with is we need to, we, I need to come and scrape the dirt down uh, so we can find level or true level or close to level as we can. So we're gonna scrape it down. I suspect we'll take about a foot of dirt away from where the fence was. And then I've got some H braces and excuse me, some corner braces that need to be put together. So there's some pipe work and welding that needs to happen. And then we've got a pile of T-posts to go and pound back into the ground. We get a T-post about every eight to 10 feet down that way. So we get to do that. We may do it as early as next weekend, depending on how fast I can get the, uh, get the post and pipe and everything cut up and welded and concreted and all that stuff. That's a lot of work in itself. So just quick update, that's what we're doing. And then we still have that fence line that we gotta tear out. So, and then quick update on the field here. They are, they have cut it and we're waiting for it to finish drying. And they may end up cutting, coming to bale it tomorrow. The oats and alfalfa are already starting to come up. So that's fantastic news. Uh, we had a lot of weeds in it and uh, now the oats and alfalfa are coming back and hopefully it'll get a head start over the weeds and we'll be able to slowly thin the weeds out. So, but we're gonna make, we're gonna make quite a bit of, quite a bit of hay. I'm suspecting or guessing 20 bales, three by three by eight, but uh, we'll just see. So, all right. Uh, I'll put the camera back on when we start the next uh, round of fence.